Hello, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the ESC Scott YouTube channel. We are back doing another first rehearsal reaction video. We are now into semi-final two and we have Albania, Bessa Kokodima with the song Titan. We're going to watch the TikTok rehearsal clip, give our opinions and see could this qualify based on the rehearsal clip that we have. So without further ado, let's play the intro. Right, we're ready for Bessa Kokodima, the Queen of Albania. Yes. Let's so, go. Tonight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, funky. Very blue. Hi everyone, I'm Bessa and I'm just about to get on Hi, stage. Bessa. I'm really excited. Hi. And I hope to see you all <laughs> 9th of May vote to be tightened. Okay. Mm. 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 <laughs> We're not wanting to say anything. <laughs> the outfit, I actually kind of like the outfit. Yeah, I like it actually. I was a bit like, whoa, look at the flares hit first. Bit, yeah. That mm. literally looks like something I could pick off the rack at Primark. Oh dear. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> wait, what H &M. Primark are you going to? Oh, HM. Like, a, like a blue H &M. jumpsuit, it is, isn't it? And if, and if it is HM, she better glitter the fuck out of it because of <laughs> I don't want to see any fucking H N M. Yeah, I mean the costume maybe isn't as like it's different. I mean it's not the statue the statue of mm -hmm. liberty that we got at the national final. Mm -hmm. which is, but it's it's fine. I mean uh, same colour. Yeah. Voice on point. I didn't worry about the vocals though. I think she's really established mm -hmm. in Albania. I mean I think she has like four hundred thousand yeah Instagram followers. Like where did they come from? She must be like quite huge. Mm -hmm. Um in that part of the uh, Europe, and I, I think she's toured as well. She's like she's quite an established artist, so I wasn't expecting her vocals to be shit. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be good. So it sounds great. These hands. Oh, she's got shoulders going on as well. Yeah, that's another recurring theme. We've got loads of the, <laughs> the, the kind of pointy shoulders this year. They're all copying each other. Yeah, we've got Perfect. Luna. Yost and Yost is last, and all these shoulders are before. I know, stealing his idea. Is copying. Oh. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a trend. This is this is the the, the twenty twenty four trend of the year. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad that she's got the two dancers because I think without the two dancers, it'd feel extremely static. Because she is literally just standing there, mm -hmm. and yeah. she's moving her arms, but she's not moving her legs. She's not kind of. Moving around yeah. the stage, quite a static performance. Mm. Yeah, exactly like that, Keen. <laughs> yeah, but it looks good. Love the dancers. I mean, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the song. Mm. I mean, oh, well, I was a fan of the Albanian version. Completely stripped away all of its originality, I feel. True, um, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's still true. a nice, pleasant song. I will listen to it. If it comes on the playlist, I will, I'll happily listen to it. But, um, yeah, I'm the same. Yeah. Yeah. Does this staging help it any do you think Kimmy? Mm, I like the outfit even though <laughs> Kate yeah. just tore it to shreds but um, I do like the outfit. <laughs> Each to their own. It's not bad but I think with a song called Titan there needs to be more fight. Yeah. She's talking about fight until the end and every tear is gonna break she and you know but, but she's, just she's not showing that in stage. the staging. Yeah mm -hmm. yeah no I definitely agree so you did you mentioned that um it's coming mm -hmm. right after Malta yeah. Do you think this will struggle? Because Malta was before, Malta's offering something similar, like a, a girly bop, but on a higher level. Because yeah. Malta's elevated to hell, but yeah, yeah Bess is kind of, she's not at the same level. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Kim Mates, she's not at the same level. And to be honest, to say it's a song about being a titan, it was very boring. <laughs> 
Oh, that's two songs you think are boring now. No, I don't. I don't think the song is boring. I think the concept <laughs> of how it's produced on stage is yeah. very boring. No, I, I, I get you. And now I thought I thought about this as well that it's all Greece is coming after this as well. Oh, that's, that's not helping it. No. Oh, she's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, she, she is in deep, deep trouble. It can still make it, but I feel like Semi Final 2 is actually stronger than Semi Final 1. There's so many people saying Semi Final 1 stronger, and I'm like, Isn't mm-hmm. it hard for the first three to make it? Is yeah. there not a running thing about this that the first three never make it? One has to, you have to lose one or yeah, two. Yeah, at least one or two will not make it. So, so looking at seems... those odds, who's going to. Who's not going to make it? And Greece will be amazing. I've got no doubt about that. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm so excited for it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, I agree. I think Albania's going to struggle, but you never know. Eurovision, there's always something mm. revolutionary that happens every year. You never know. This may be the first year where it happens. We get the first three qualifying. You never know. But yeah, let us know what you think. We've shared our opinions. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Remember to like this video, subscribe, and we'll be back with the next one. Bye-bye. Bye bye.